The tragic mass murders in Newtown broke all of our hearts. As a father of two young children, it was hard not to look at the faces of the victims in Connecticut and not see the faces of my own boys. Like many of us, I couldn't watch the coverage on television without breaking into tears. And when emotions are that high, it's even more important to take a step back and thoroughly discuss and analyze an important issue like this and get down to the true causes. But that didn't happen here. The process was rushed, and the people of this state have been shortchanged. If a more thorough review had been done and it had taken place, we may have found the following, that despite the sensationalism and tragedy of mass shootings throughout this country, and I by, by no means mean to diminish them and the tragedies that they are, but they still only account for less than 1% of all homicides in this nation. So-called assault weapons bans have proven to be completely ineffective in decreasing the murder rate in this country. A National Institute of Justice study, the impact of the 1994 assault weapons ban, the ban did not produce any statistical significant reduction in the murder rate. There was no decline in average number of victims, and there was no decline in murder victims with multiple wounds. Because these rifles were never really used for murders, and other weapons were used instead, and the statistics in New York bear this out, as you've heard already, five out of 769 murders in the state of New York were committed with rifles. And that's not just the rifles we're planning on banning here today, uh, all rifles. We have a murder rate in New York State of four per 100,000 people. The rifles account for 0.03 of that statistic. But what would really have an effect? Well, there was a study by Professor, Professor Steven Siegel. He did a, a comparison of murder rates and mental treatment policies in various states. Less access to psychiatric inpatient beds and more poorly, um, more poor, poor mental health services leads to an increase in homicides, homicide rate of more than one per 100,000. Broader involuntary civil confinement laws were associated with one 1.42 fewer homicides per 100,000. 1.42 fewer homicides per 100,000 as compared to 0 0.03 by doing this ban on rifles. This bill addresses some of these mental health issues, but does not go nearly far enough. A more thorough approach, an open and honest process with public hearings, expert testimony, could have made it better. Instead, we get illusory reform. Rifle and ammunition bans in this bill will receive the headlines and allow its supporters to pat themselves on the back and claim victory, but will do nothing to make us safer. The bill would not have prevented the tragedies in Newtown or Webster and will only serve to further infringe on the rights of law-abiding citizens. Cannot support this legislation. Thank you.